In Afghanistan, a massive bombing near the German embassy in the capital, Kabul, killed more than 80 people, wounding over 350 during rush hour traffic Wednesday morning. No group has claimed responsibility for the attack so far, though the Taliban said they are not responsible. Officials have described today's bombing as one of the biggest blasts ever in Kabul. It shattered windows more than a mile away from the explosion center and blasted a crater more than 13 feet deep into the ground. Among those who were killed was Aziz Navin, who worked for the Afghan TV station Tolo TV, and Mohammad Nazir, who has worked as a driver for the BBC Afghan service for four years and was killed this morning as he was driving his co-workers to the office. Nearby hospitals were inundated with wounded patients after the blast. This is Ghulam Mohammed. I was at my desk when I heard a terrible sound and became unconscious. I didn't know what happened to me, and a few minutes later, when I opened my eyes, I found myself under the desk and saw blood coming out of my shoulder. It was a dreadful explosion. Today's bombing comes as the White House is weighing the Pentagon's proposal to send thousands more U.S. troops to Afghanistan. 